It's a vibe. On Lava Lounge. Hot 93.3 FM, 28 minutes going past 11. This is the Lava Lounge with TK. And as usual, every wet day, we get to talk to the recent BB Ninja Eric Tease. And with me in the studio is Zainway, that is Zion and Chimwe. Welcome to Hot FM. How are you guys doing? We're doing good. We're doing good. Very well. Nice to be Thank here. Thank you. Thanks for having us. She raised out calmer than, than usual. Are yeah. you tired? I'm tired. I've been Sorry. talking back to back. I know, I know. I've been seeing videos <laughs> online. But yeah. then this, this wraps up sometime this week or next week? Yeah. yeah. Next week. Okay. I mean, good to see you guys. Thank At you. the same time, I didn't want you guys out so early. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were bringing the spice, but then it, it is what it is. The first of my, my question is, why do you think you were nominated? Like, obviously, you had quite a number of, you know, nominations from housemates. So why do you think that your pair was a scapegoat? Nominated or evicted? Nominated, nominated okay, nominated. by the housemates. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's definitely a thing of, well, obviously sure that they saw us as threats in the house. So okay. that's, main, that's the main part of it. So probably they didn't want to keep us or keep seeing us in the house and hopes that we'll be evicted. Yeah. So, they, if we didn't get evicted that Sunday, mm-hmm. we we'll would definitely we'll be, be up, up again this week. This, so okay. this would be a ride on stand. We we'll, we'll stand every week. I mean, we sort of out. expected the nominations mm-hmm. even because you could tell body language. Um, they were already moving. Like, if I get the opportunity to put you up, you're they will up. Be <laughs> yeah. yeah so. Okay. Okay. So both of you think that that was the reason because they saw obviously, you as a threat. Obviously, we're obvious threats. Should that be the house. bigger shocker, not standing? Not to have your name. I like that. Yeah. So you, I mean, when they called your name, you already knew. Yeah, you know, you saw it coming. <laughs> Even as big called it first, because we're the first thing that big called. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Already knew. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to I'm going to ask some questions individually, and of course as a pair. So I'm going to start okay. with. <laughs> I'm going to start with Chiwe. Okay. You were very vocal from day one. You know, you didn't play it safe. Um, I think it started with the kitchen hustle. You know, <laughs> I think that was the first time we saw you in action. And some people even said, because I did see on social media, they could count on you to bring the violence, even when every other person wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. So, was the, what was your strategy going into the house, or was any of that your strategy to bring? No, like, that was all that my drama? strategy. Um, in real life, it's still the same thing. I am no pushover. There's um, there's only so much you can do. And I am quick to set boundaries. In that sort of environment, yeah. if you if you want to maintain your respect, mm-hmm. you know, and your boundaries, then you should let them know. Otherwise, the moment you start to allow um, certain things happen, yeah. other people will take advantage. And I wasn't having any of that. So it was more... Like it was you, it was Chinwe. Anyway, yeah, none of that. It's but typically who, how I am in real life. Okay, but did you have a strategy going in though? I'm curious. And what was it? Oh, um, the strategy going in was just to literally be myself because mm-hmm. I mean I am an entire package. You get me? There's a lot, a lot of layers to my personality, and going in there, I just wanted to unravel the different layers to my personality. So. Okay. Yeah. I mean, f- for you, Zion, you were, yeah. I mean, just even judging from watching in what the housemates have said, for instance, Tofa, I think it was like two days ago, gave a shout out to you saying that you never really had any issues with anybody that he feels like you're going to be G's outside. So you seemed uh, level. Tofa is my G for sure. So, yeah, definitely. Because yeah. he, he spoke good about you. So you seemed, you know, level headed, trying to resolve issues. I think there was one part where you even spoke about how you can go through the house without having enemies. You don't have to have friends, but, you know, you don't have to have enemies as well. Yeah. So my question would be, um, now that you're out, I mean, you seem to be cool with everybody. Was there really any person or a pair that you could not stand in the house? So I wouldn't, like the thing is, for me, the, I get pissed off. I actually get pissed off easily. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it, it, it takes a lot to actually piss me off still. Like, it's little things that piss me off. Mm-hmm. But for you to get to know those little things that can piss me off, it actually takes you being close to me. If you're not close to me, that's why I don't... People in the house, mm. lots of people say that they, they don't have a problem with me. But that doesn't mean that I consider everybody in the house to be my friends. Okay. I don't need to have enemies, but I don't need to call everyone my friend. Mm. People I call my friend in the house, they are 
maybe four, five okay. people in the house. Who, who are they? Definitely the radicals. The, okay. Both of them. Kelly, so far, of course. So uh, that there was no one that you sort of hated their gods. More like... Hated their gods? Yeah. Or maybe that, that's not a strong word, but you just sort of no, didn't no, like, feel... No, I get what you mean. Like yeah. If, if I'm to say hated their guts, it would maybe be their guts. Because so <laughs> 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 if, if we're talking about, because there are instances where mm. I had uh, unlikeness for mm. money and handy. Okay. Mainly because of the rooty situation. Okay. Yeah. But I would not say I hated their guts. Okay. Yeah. You just... Then, but the person I can say maybe I, I could have if she stayed longer I'd have catered her guts would have been Chine 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 yeah because oh. she was really starting to do things in the house that would just make you feel like where, where are you from uh, actually speaking of I mean I was about to go to Chine but since you mentioned Chine I'm just going to yeah. get there so she was on I can say his name she was on Heroes Therapy Okay. And then she had said, actually, it concerns both of you, actually. So she had said that Chinwe is, I'm going to quote her. She says, you're bossy and it looks like you want the world to revolve around you. And that you're the reason that Zion stopped talking to her. You know, what's your opinion about that, both of you? I'm going to start with Chinwe because it was you she really tackled okay. more. I believe Chinwe, mm -hmm. she thinks and acts like a villager. <laughs> she does not take... Yeah, I mean, she... I don't know what her problem is with me. I don't know why a grown-ass woman would assume... Okay, you can't curse, though. So. Yeah, no, I, I, I didn't curse. Well, I mean, she's grown. Do you get me? Yeah. If you have an issue with me, you speak to me about it. You don't go about bickering. That's childish stuff. If she wanted to have a conversation with Zion regarding Zion not speaking with her, she should have stepped up to him to ask. Her getting me in the mix of it is just, I don't know, but Gina, if she can take several seats, <laughs> I won't even indulge her further. Okay, so which, was she wrong or right when she says, you know? She's delusional. Okay, so what, what's your take on that? So on me not talking to her, it, ha it really has nothing to do with Gina. It yeah. has everything to do with her behavior. her behavior yeah so okay i'll just name one instance okay where, okay the main thing that actually made me to be like uh, I, I i really don't need to be talking to this person this chine's locker is right next to my locker mm -hmm. yeah, in the locker room and multiple times chine puts her things in my locker mm. and i come back i see things in my locker i know obviously it's chine's things and i don't i, I don't even make a fuss she would just come and be like, oh, Zan, sorry, sorry. Then she might move some things. I'm, I'm like, don't worry, leave it. Because I'm not using locker space right now, mm. so you can use it. So you had nothing no to do with No, no, no. Okay. Then it was the time when Chime came to me. Like She was pissed. Then she was like, Chine left dried clothes on the... Because we have the dryers outside mm -hmm. the, where we sun our clothes. She left dried clothes there to save, save space for her wet clothes mm -mm, for clothes she had not washed she and not we washed we had clothes. washed our clothes i had and done the laundry and brought the clothes out of the machine mm -hmm. now i needed to air dry the clothes her yes. clothes were in like two dryers and they were They're all dry mm -hmm. i went to her thinking she was reasonable in the least sense of it chine please can you come take your clothes off the dryer so I can dry our clothes? Because if you leave damp clothes for a while, they start to smell. They start to yeah. you know, bring mm -hmm. bring out some smell. Yeah. And she's like, um, that's um, not now, please. That the reason she left her clothes there is because she wants to wash later. Okay. So when she does the laundry later, she can spread them there. And I'm like, okay, but um, I have done good, laundry. Let me spread like these ones so they can even dry okay. before you get to wash. That was where Chine concluded I was bossy. Oh, okay. So, because of the time I have. Okay, you wanted to say something. For me, like, that's, that's that was, yeah. Because there's no way you can be in a house that is not your house. That's the biggest house. Biggie has provided these things for everybody. For everybody. People have washed their clothes. Mm -hmm. Let them dry their clothes. Your clothes are dry. And you are leaving them there for when you want to wash again. That is uncivilized. That is just... I don't know where the where she had that thought process. Okay. Nobody had done that in the house. So two Why words, villager, uncivilized. <laughs> well, I think I have like 
10, 12 minutes to do this with you. And I want I have quite a number of questions to ask. Um, a very big part of, at least the storyline in the last two weeks um, with Chin Wei was the tension with you and Nelly. And um, it's coming from various conversations and, you know, various things I've seen. Um, and it's on both, both ends. You also said quite a number of things, you know, I think you said she was like a fake chef. Um, you kind of threw shades at her somewhere. Um, she herself um, did not even stand up when you guys got evicted. Um, the camera, she literally just sat down. She didn't say hi. Um, I know that I watched this particular one where I think she was doing something that you guys had. And then she says, um, shout out to you. She was like, it was you that she had love for and specify that she didn't have love for you. What was that tension? Why was there so much tension between you and Nelly? And it was on both ends. Why? What was the issue? I really can't say what the issue was. And quite frankly, um, it's exhausting having to explain this over and over again. Myself and Nelly started off as friends. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, I was the one who extended the first hand of friendship to Nelly. After a while, she started to backtrack on the friendship. And body language, I'm big, I'm big on body language, mm -hmm. right? I noticed that and I decided to take a step back as well. So her having to, I don't know, whatever it is, it's in her head. He, After the show, we have the conversation. And, you know, if it's still there, it's still there. But, but for me, mm -hmm. um, there's but, really no bad blood from my end. What do you think about Nelly as, as a person? As a person? Mm -hmm. Not much to think about her. I mean, she's Nelly. She's a black independent African woman. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Um, so I'm going to, okay, let, let me start with you because you're the first person to sort of suspect it. That is double K that they were yeah. married. So, because I know Betrayal. sometimes, <laughs> I'm going to guess you, Zion. I have another angle I'm coming from. Um, I know that sometimes when you guys get in, before you get in, you hear, you might not have specifics, but you might hear, oh, maybe a married person is coming. Um, a couple is coming, you know, twins are coming. You could, you just hear that. Mm -hmm. So was it a case of you had heard that there was going to be a married couple and you sort of figured it was them? No, or not you just... at all. In fact, um, the only people I suspected were mm -hmm. coming prior to going in were the twins. Oh, but, okay. but sets anyways. Yeah. Right. So I suspected going into the house, I expected ships. More, considering more yeah more couples more than um sibling dynamics yeah. or friendship dynamics considering it's a season of um dynamic duos it would make sense to have um different couples with different dynamics in the house and then getting there and realizing on the first night that we were the only couple that came into the house something didn't seem right it didn't sit right with me yeah. at all I started to think, and it, it was that night I actually clocked it, but I couldn't even speak that night mm -hmm. because, I mean, there was no privacy at that point. Mm -hmm. So the next morning, immediately after our walkout, I pulled Zion to a corner, and that. I'm like, yeah, I have a theory that we're not the only couple in the house, and I gave my reasons why I felt, because if the moment I saw them, I suspected they were a couple. I even I asked, said married. Yes. <laughs> but why, them, why did you, you ever mention it to them, though? In the house, yeah. There were times where I I had to pick their brains on where this, where they were, mm -hmm. you know, as a pair, you know. But they kept sticking to one story, and you know how it is. The moment you you can't play all your cards or lay all your cards mm -hmm. on the table, if not, there's no element of surprise anymore. Yeah. So I couldn't really say I think you're a married couple, or but I kept asking like, why are you both not together in real life? Like, why are you not really a couple? And then. Because I said, the you only reason that will make sense to me is if you tell me you're dating different people on the yeah, outside. Yeah. Kelly Ray went first and said he's in a complicated situation outside. Yeah. I'm like, mm. Cassiana said that she she's dating someone outside. I'm like, two stories. It, it, it doesn't say. It's not, it's not adding up. For you, I, rem I remember this I know, There was one time where you were like, um, let me let me even find it. You were like, everybody don't get shit for this house, so remaining you, Kelly Ray. <laughs> and then he goes, God go do amo. One girl feels just sorry for me this week or something like that. Yeah. And, you know, that was very funny. Now, coming out to see that your guy, wind you, what was the feeling when you 
eventually confirmed that they were married when you got out? The feeling remains the same. I've, it to, I've told him on multiple interviews here. When he, not when he, I want, I want him to come out. Or if I go in, I want to come, come down and beat <laughs> And just give him like two blows in his head. <laughs> First, then I'll tell him, I pull him because I say, girl, you want me. I'm disappointed. But, but I, I like, no, I like the strategy. I yeah. Like the strategy, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool strategy, yeah. But him not telling me, and him telling me, because what he told me initially, because what he told Chino is more different from what he told me. Okay. He told me that he liked um, Cassia at first. Okay. Then she didn't like him. Then they became besties. Mm-hmm. Then she started liking him, and he didn't want to now break the bestie ship yeah. thing. So I was like, okay, that makes sense, because besties usually come from the, mainly the guy liking the girl. So I was like, and now I find out that that's a lie. So I'm like, bro, you lied me. I will give him like three blows in the air. That's three now. <laughs> okay. Everybody was the risk gone. of one person knowing, and it could, it could eventually just leak to everybody. Exactly. So like, we get that at yeah. the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so another narrative outside is that Zion could have a loosed mouth, right? Um, and I saw quite a number of them on Twitter because they felt like you never held back and you spilled stuff about housemates. Would you say that you were about unfiltered? Housemates. Yeah. Would you say that you were unfiltered in the house? Well, when I when I when I have something to say, I don't I don't, <laughs> I don't like to. I'm not the kind of person that hold my words. Mm. So if I'm going to say it, I'm going to say it. If I'm not going to say it, you will not hear it from me. There are so many things that I could have said in that house that I did not say. Now, one thing that you had said, um, but it wasn't clear enough, um, was that you mentioned that Chinwe caught Shani and Wani being intimate. Was yeah. there any truth to that? Yep. Yeah, they had sex in the house. Okay, yeah. so we've a couple of that. times. Yeah. A couple of times. Yeah, and the first time it happened, I was previous. Because the first time it happened, we were both sitting. We were sitting, sitting, sitting together at the dining. At the dining. Yeah. Then I noticed Wani observing the house yeah. from upstairs so yeah was looking and this is on this is unusual behavior. he even asked her he's like ah, i was like why did you observe why for you observe your house <laughs> sure, like, looking around, like, mm-hmm. like watching to see, like you know when someone is doing something inside you want to you are like you have to look out on the outside yeah. so i was like what is going on in there that you are looking out for who is coming so just there looking 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 i was like mm, let me not engage further next thing chinway comes and tells me that what was going on was something of the <laughs> <laughs> so i was like huh? really because sean, 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 sean actually told me that having sex in the house is something that he would never do so i was like Bro. well i mean that conversation came after they had had sex after they had had and Aww. i mean i feel i feel like it's um it was the agreement they had because even wani still said to was it you? She said it was someone. She said it was no, so that having sex in the house was something she would never do. So it was more of a rehearsed um, defense the, yeah. by the both of them, you know. Well, we don't already see where thing happened. It is what it is. It but is it was, what it is. We didn't it's just one. We well, we didn't see we had. We didn't hear about them. But they must have, you know, covered up real quick, real yeah. good. Okay, so let's let's move away from that because of time. You, Chiwe, you are also very notorious for disobeying Biggie's rules. Uh, not quite. Not one time. Ta- not <laughs> once. Not uh, twice. Not quite. <laughs> what, what, what was it with you and obeying rules? What was the problem? So when you said disobeying Biggie's rules, I'm sure you're talking about housemates move to the garden. Yeah, that's part of it. Is that wow. not disobedience? <laughs> Do you know you can just be sleeping? Big brother, I'll just say this is big brother. Housemates, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that voice comes. And it, it opens it, your ears. It startles you when it hits it's, you. It hits you. So it, there's a lot of processing you. going on. Yeah. Do you get me? And this is not, it's not my usual type of stuff. It's me having to adjust to a new environment mm-hmm. and everything. So it might come across as breaking rules, but yeah, I was just adapting to my new home. <laughs> Reminds me of where you got into the house and you're like, Zion, look at our home. Look at our home. I'm like, hello. I mean, it was yeah, home to us. Yeah. Definitely first. It's definitely home to us. No one there. It's definitely <laughs> your home, isn't it? Okay, if you say so. So I'm, I'm curious though, what was the toughest moment in the house for both of you as a couple? Hmm, I think the toughest moment for me with Zion as a couple was the fight we had the week I wanted to 
leave. I feel the like house. a lot of people have asked you that, so I just oh yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead. The week I wanted to leave the house, you know, before I could even start voicing such thoughts, it was really it was emotionally draining for me, and yeah, thankfully I survived it. Okay, so what about you? The thing is, that wasn't even even tough for me because I, I was just my own thing was just being like just I just decided to be calm and she was already on her rant so I yeah. allowed her to go off. So for me the toughest I would say what's even the toughest? Maybe just not winning the immunity or HOH games. No, but I think the question is the toughest to... moment for us as a couple, no, we... not as individuals. No, like it's you could have won H R H S. Oh, okay. So you're blaming me for that. I'm not blaming. You. Uh, okay. Blaming you. Okay. Answer your question. <laughs> <laughs> no, so okay, like, I'm so just yeah. talking about something we did together. Mm-hmm. Course, yeah, so if we could have won together, it should have definitely been. And, and you guys would have had the condo to yourself, you get, right? Because she really wanted that. <laughs> well, when we had to ballot to campaign for mm-hmm. the HOH ballots. It was only me carrying the weight of that. Zion was not supportive in any way, so yeah. don't blame me for that. I we had we had our play, and <laughs> exactly, yeah. good, my love. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's always the realness for me. Like people would come and you know try to form, but you would always be you, and I, I obviously love that about you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so um, I know I caught, I think it was your final diary session where Chinwe was saying like so much sweet stuff to Zion. I was like, oh, so sweet. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, Zimwe, is it the end game? The end game as in how? Like both of you. Like it's Zimwe. Yeah. We're still here. We're still. I like, mean, you on stage like, said like Zinwe forever. Like so why don't you understand my question? Yeah? Like, is this the end of Zinwe? No, 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 no. Is this the end game? Like, is this is this it? Both of you into the future. Yeah, yeah, That's of what course. I mean. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Why would I ask for? Uh-uh. Uh, uh, I'm not a I hitter. Was, was, <laughs> I was like, oh, bro, but definitely, like, you, you, you are definitely gonna see Zinwe on your screens, big time, even on the big screens still. So, the best I can say is watch out, just be patient okay so this is just the last round i'm just going to mention pairs and you you try to keep it short but just let me know what you think about the, the pairs All right. individually or as a pair so we're going to start with radicals my g's they're cool okay as a pair individually femi's awesome yeah okay so checkers mm. they're sisters so we uh, we know that right <laughs> yeah the question is what we think about them right yeah, yeah they're sisters that's think, not a think, thought that's, that's a cute. fact <laughs> so i think, I, I think Oyenka, Oyenka is someone that is a very she's a, she's a funny person because so Oyenka is a funny person because like i feel I, I don't know what her strategy was in the house she kept saying the one thing that kept banging in my head and i was like you need to stop saying this. Even Femi and I even had a conversation with her that she needs to stop mm. saying that the snail thing. Oh, the snail. Uh, so I was like, bruh, stop it. Yeah. But Chizoba, Chizoba is, I feel like Chizoba is someone that is, she's less opinionated. Mm. Yeah. But she's, she's okay. She's okay, people. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, Trent. Hmm. I think there the biggest game players this season i think you're the second person saying that okay yeah strategy wise they're seriously on game so you really can tell where you st- where you stand with them until the show is over okay the same thing yeah, that's so what you think now, i'll say yeah they're they are on game definitely I, I feel ozzy is less on game but ozzy is are you more serious and it seems like the karma one ozzy yeah ozzy ozzy is someone and the one in like, less drama <laughs> no ozzy, ozzy. yeah yeah, yeah. OC, OC, I feel, I feel OC is more calculated and he's, he's a cool person. Yeah. But OC is more outgoing, mm-hmm. more spoken. So he has more time to lose guard. Okay. I get, I get where you're coming from. Yeah. Okay. Nelita. I think they are a competitive pair. I particularly like Anita of that pair, you know, and yeah, I feel like they're highly competitive. Okay. Definitely a competitive pair. And as she said, Anita is a sweet soul. 
I mean, I, I saw. Think, okay. I think Nelly is also a cool person. It's just, yeah. But it's just she and your babe. They no agree. Yeah, they no agree. <laughs> but she's a cool person actually. But uh, uh, yeah. Ace is mm. tougher. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cool yeah. guy. Um, Suj. No comments on Suj. <laughs> what so about I, you? So I called Tofa Topper. Okay. Yeah, so I Topper, Topper, Topper. Yeah. So Tofa is my guy. I just like him as Also a pure spirit. Cool guy. Chill vibes. Suj is. Suj is a guy. Just. Is, is, is a guy. Shatoria. Shatoria. I mean, V is my girl, of yeah. course. I think V, she's super cool. Um. Sean, Sean is on game. You know he he has his head in the game. And it's totally fine because I mean we are we went there to play the game, so that's fair game really. I feel they're good. Same. Yeah. So Victoria, very cool person. I actually like Victoria a lot. Then Sean, also a cool guy, but definitely on game. Okay, Wendy X Andy. <laughs> Our our ex kids. <laughs> <laughs> On one ex and yeah, day. as a pair, yeah, as a pair, they they both have their backs, regardless. Because I know Handy doesn't particularly approve of everything Wani does, but she's her twin. She's gonna have her back regardless of the situation. Yeah. Wani, as a person, she's passive aggressive. All right, so we're going to do this in one minute. Uh, I'm getting the signal. Better and double K. Better. So you just caught two pairs that are on serious game. They are? Yeah. Okay, double K, yeah. Double K, of course. I don't see game. better, though. Uh, no, better, especially doctor. I feel doc is, doc is just, <laughs> I, I, I don't feel doc is on game. I feel doc, doc is, is on game because with doc, you don't know where you stand. You think he's cool with yeah, you? I feel he's a cunning person. Yeah. But that's that's his game because he doesn't give you the impression that he's not cool with you. Mm. You okay, know, so he gives you the there. impression that he's your friend. Yeah. Yeah. You called him two face. Okay, so that then <laughs> I feel he's on game. Okay. <laughs> but, then, but Ben is Ben is Ben is action Ben. Action, action for okay. yeah. cool <laughs> Double K quickly. K they're on game. Ray, they're on game. game. They're, on they're game. cool people or they're on game. Okay, all right, so obviously cool. you said watch out for Zinway. Of course. Um, do you have any specifics you want to share or your last words before we wrap this up? Um, nothing specifically to share for now. Yeah. Um, last words will still be watch out for Zinway. Just keep, just <laughs> I mean, this keep is your, not the end. It's only but the beginning. Just keep your butts to and your seats and your eyes glued to your screens. Yeah. And you're going to see us. You're going to make NDC come and sanction me. You just said B-U-T-T on air. I, I don't want to say the A-S-S. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I, I had fun talking to you guys. I, yeah, I yeah, hear yeah. you have another interview. Thank yeah. you so much. It was fun talking to both of you as a pair. Did you enjoy Thank the you. interview? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, okay. It's a vibe on Lava Lounge. 93.3.